A six decade old tradition given new life every year by the children it's aimed to help. Now, this week, children from the Family Home Orphanage in Osaka, Japan, arrive in Honolulu. The goal of their trip is to play in the surf and the sand and learn some of the kindness of our military ohana here in Hawaii. The tradition started in 1949 when Sergeant Major Hugh O'Reilly visited the orphanage and now members of his unit known as the Wolfhounds are carrying on his legacy. And joining us this morning is fellow Wolfhound member Lieutenant Colonel Don Brown and Alan Okami, Vice President of the Pre Peace Bridge Board. Good morning to both of you. Thanks morning, for being morning. here. Thanks now, for having us. Now this is truly a family legacy that carries on members of the O'Reilly family I know are still involved in the project mm -hmm. and family members of the military uh, yeah. are, are a part of this and it, it, it really is um, just a legacy, correct? It is. It's, uh, it's a legacy that's been going on since 1949 and since 1957 these kids have been coming to the island and we've been sending soldiers over there each Christmas and it's, it's a wonderful relationship and a wonderful legacy to be a part of and I couldn't be more proud of what we're doing. Exactly. Now these orphans for this year arrive on Tuesday and what's what's going to happen when they arrive here? Well, well they'll, uh, they're going to come into the Honolulu International Airport and we've got a lot of great support down there and from our friends at Japanese Airlines and it's a big, big welcome. Um, we'll line the halls for them, welcome them in. Uh, they'll get some lays piled up to the top of their heads <laughs> and uh, they'll meet their host families and the O'Reilly's will be there and then we'll get them whisked out of there and uh, set up with their host families and they'll start having fun and building relationships. Treated like rock stars in a way. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well what's the most rewarding part about this whole project? Alan? Well, from, um, I, I'm actually non-military. Coming in is just really nice to see how, how these guys, how these gentlemen over the course of 62 years, I was wrong out there, 62 <laughs> years, but, um, how, they, how they kept it going, how they're able to embrace it and actually have become the longest running relationship slash tradition in the history of the United States Army. And that in itself, aside from all of the emotions attached to having the children come over for what a, a lot of them call, and, and Don knows this, it's the memory of a lifetime mm -hmm. for them. Even with that, you know, you look that it happens not only that year for that child. This has been happening for 62 years, and that's really, really rewarding. Exactly. Okay. Well, and do you always keep in contact with the children even afterwards? The the children quite often keep in contact with their host families, and that was another thing I got to see when I visited the orphanage in Osaka a couple years ago was the exchange of letters and the pictures and now emails and whatnot that go on between the families. And I've actually had the privilege to meet um, ad adults who came out of that orphanage and are now participating in what we're doing. It's pretty rewarding. Beautiful. All right. Well, you know, truly the Peace, Peace Bridge Project em embodies the Aloha spirit. So thank you for your efforts and, and thank you for coming thank in this you very morning. Much.